when you are, my darling. Um, our top followers are from the US. Welcome to Men's Style Fashion. Thank you. Um, just for our followers, who are you and what do you do? My name is Lewis Smith and I was a gymnast competed at the Olympic Games and uh, won a few medals. And um, talk us through your history. How did you, you know, did the sport choose you or did you choose it? Um, I'd say a little bit of both. Um, I mean, I started doing gymnastics at the age of four. Yeah. Um, very hyperactive kid, very, very crazy, and I did lots of different sports. And then I slowly started to enjoy gym, yeah. um, even more and more, to the point where I was going two, three, four, five days a week. Yeah. And then I ended up representing my country. Um, I've got a real passion for the athletes because I'm not trying to link an athlete's image to his sport. Why are you at London Collections? I've seen you last time, loved what you wear, loving what you wear. Thank you. Uh, well, in gymnastics, I mean, I've grown up having to think about what you look like. Uh, appearance is very important. Why? Um, well, gymnastics is an artistic sport. Um, it's a sport where you're being judged on the way you perform, the way you look. And I guess I've carried that through uh, into life. You know, I, I like to present myself well, um, depending on where I'm going to and what, what situation is. Um, I like to wear a suit, sometimes I might wear something a bit wacky. Um, but I've always been a bit out there as well, my personality. Um, you know, I'm not one to blend in. I do like to try and stand out when I can. Um, how, has helped, how has it helped your career? There's a real point to all these questions. Because I'm working okay. Formula 3 and I'm mountain bike riders. And they're like, we're focused on the sport, we don't care about our image, it's all about our sponsors. And well, I disagree. I mean, I mean, um, sport, sport stems on just what you do on the, on the field and you know, each season. And, you know, I, I, I like to try and, you know, keep, keep the way I look in. You know, trim. I, I like to. I like people to think of me as someone who's stylish and someone who is a fantastic gymnast who, who did really well. I, I like to have those boundaries, but I like to be um, represented well. Um, so I hear you can dance. Can you talk a little bit about that <laughs> and congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've got some, uh, some dancing hips. Um, I, I love to dance as well. I was on the uh, Strictly Come Dancing show. And how did you go? Got gold. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I won the trophy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a fantastic experience as well. Um, yeah, I, I miss dancing. Yeah, um, what I love about the athletes is they've got fantastic stories. Can you talk about your David versus Goliath moment? Because, you know, going for gold or silver, we all look at that moment and think, well done. But how hard is it to be a champion? I mean, I mean to be where I am now, um, it's been a fantastic journey, uh, but it's been a hard one. You know, having to go from A to B, uh, there's a lot of what people don't see, injuries, um, you know, losing family members week to four, you know, world championships and things like this, and it's been a, it's been a big struggle. Uh, coming from a family where it's just been my mum and my brother, um, you know, it's been hard for her to raise us as kids and be able to provide. So I'm in a very happy situation now where I can give a little back. Um, yeah, but it's been, a, it's been a hard journey to get where I am. One last question. We're holding the first ever Savile Row Academy Awards okay. in Next Generation. I'm bringing in the athletes. I'd love you to be part of that. What does Savile Row mean to you? Quickly. Savile Row is, uh, like I mean, to be tailored and to look fresh and to wear a suit um, is every piece of what a gentleman should be about.